make it, make it, do it Makes us harder, better, faster, stronger Get that, 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 that don't kill me Can only make us stronger Skippity doo da. All right, Pete, so vlog number two, what we've got today is a bit of a quad dominant leg day. Um, so with my current program, I've actually got three different days with leg stuff in it. Two of them that are pretty much standalone lower body days with a bit of core. One of them, this one being more quad receptor dominant, so the muscles on the front of your thighs, and then the other one being more hip dominant, so glutes, hamstrings, and that sort of thing. And then the third day, having a bit of a mix so we're starting off with a few hip flexor stretches with the band. I really like this one here because it forces you to contract your glute against the band to create the stretch. So it tends to transfer pretty well at the beginning of the uh, workout. And then what I'm doing here is another one, a little hip displacement sort of one for glutes and hip rotators. Um, it tends to open up your deep hip flexor pretty well, this one too. So wrapping the band around the top part of your leg and then doing what's called the pigeon pose from yoga. Um, and what you find is the band kind of pulls you into a tighter stretch than normal. So I've got this stuff, um, and then I had a bit of uh, dynamic mobility using the hurdles, um, which is something I'll show you in a later video. So the start of this video, uh, sorry, the start of this workout um, is a bit more like the last one that I did, the last upper body day, where I'm doing uh, a pre-exhaustion type movement into something a little bit heavier. So my pre-exhaustion movement today is this barbell hack squat. So what you're trying to focus on with a hack squat is keeping your chest and torso very vertical and trying to basically push those knees right forward so that's keeping the majority of the tension on your quads. So I'm doing this with a slow tempo, three seconds down, two seconds up. I find it helps a lot to put something underneath your heels while you're doing it for mobility. And then what we're doing is front rack reverse lunges with a bar. So again, that front rack position um, transfers more of the load onto your quads, again, because it forces you to sit more upright and get less bend in the hips. What I've done here is added the chains um, for a little tiny bit of extra resistance, not much at all. But what you'll find with the chains is as you hit the floor, they deload, and then as you get closer to the top of the movement, they add extra overload, which is really good for stimulating growth through that medial teardrop part of your quad. And then our third movement that I've got paired in this little three exercise sort of mini circuit is lying leg curls um, with my toes pointed straight and in towards one another. So foot position can actually change the activation quite a lot in this movement. This is only for seven reps. That tends to be because when functioning as a knee flexor, so bending your knees like that, your hamstrings are actually really fast switch. So it tends to work better these movements doing them for lower reps. Then what we're doing is moving into a high bar back squat. So more often than not, you'll find that these squats, so your heavier compound movements, we're using both legs, typically are gonna be at the start of your workout. The reason I've put this later is because in this phase, I'm trying to give my lower back and hips and stuff a little bit of a rest. So by putting it later in the workout when my quads are already fatigued and my hamstrings as well, um, it means it's difficult without me having to utilize quite as much weight so therefore, I'm using higher reps and putting it later. So sets of 13 reps, uh, I went through three sets of those. Now what we're doing is putting in snatch grip Romanian deadlifts. So the snatch grip is sort of a wide grip on the bar. It's the way that Olympic lifters grab the bar when they're going to do that snatch, which is where they throw it overhead in one movement. I like this because it's a great way to put a big stretch on the hammies. You can really overload well through the hips. But at the same time, you're not using a ton of weight. So I find that doing the snatch grip doesn't fatigue me quite as much as doing a regular Romanian deadlift where I need to utilize more weight. Key focus with these are keeping the lower back flat as you drive back or even slightly arched. Um, and as you go down on the Romanian deadlift, we're looking to keep the bar close to the legs and push the hips really far back. Um, so you're looking to keep the majority of the tension on the hamstrings, particularly through the lower half of the rep, to get a big stretch in that bottom position. And then when we come up, we're exploding up and squeezing the glutes twit. You'll notice here that I try to be a bit of a Kobe Bryant and throw my lifting strap into a basket that's literally about a meter away. And I miss, it's devastating, the tag sore and the teeth sleep. But luckily, I redeem myself in this second throw. I'm pretty happy about it. All right, this last little one to finish, 
it looks like a leg exercise because I'm doing lunges, but it's actually more of a core exercise than anything. So we're doing walking lunges with an exaggerated knee lift at the start of the movement where I've frozen it here. And what I'm doing is holding a kettlebell just on one side of my body. So what this does, obviously when I'm standing on one leg like that, there's a lot of instability around the hip, which means your obliques, the, the muscles that run down the sort of side of your abs, are forced to work in conjunction with your glutes and quads and lower back and abs. So it's a great way of strengthening that side of your body um, and improving coordination, improving balance and that sort of thing without having to just isolate that one muscle with side bends or something. It tends to work a lot better if you utilize those in conjunction with the other muscles.